Hey guys, back again. And for you it's been maybe like that, but for me it's been a little while. So, I went to an egg and pie. And I got some booster cables. Now these are six gauge. And I also got a soldering iron. Now my soldering iron is like a 15 water. And this is um, 20 to 40 watts. It's two settings. So what I'm gonna do, I am gonna use these cables to connect to my car. So the cables I had previously, which are these ones, I cut off the end. I cut off the ends, but these are a thinner gauge. These are eight, eight, eight uh, gauge, eight AWG. So that means they're thinner, just slightly. So they're only designed for like 35 to 40 amps, and I'm just want to play it safe. I've spent a lot of money on this uh, this power supply, so let's uh, use the right thing. So what I'm going to do is Canadian Tire were doing a sale on these. There's like about 30 bucks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to Cut, chop the ends off, okay, and then what I'm going to then do is I'm going to strip the cable back. Now, some people were telling me the best what I should do is put ring terminals on there, and then you can put them in. But you know something, I can't find any ring terminals for six gauge wire uh, anywhere around. I, I guess I could kind of um, uh, get them on Amazon or whatever, but I only want two or at least minimum four just in case while I'm testing. Um, so I thought, um, why don't I just solder it? Because as long as it's soldered, that's fine. So that's, uh, so that's what I'm going to do. And of course my old soldering iron is only going to, um, it's only 15 watt and I don't think it's man enough to heat this cable up, uh, the, the, the copper inside there. So that's why I've got a bigger one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to chop this off, strip it back, measure exactly how I want heat the cable up with my soldering iron and I should have uh, a good uh, connection and these are actually these are then I'll tell you something I might actually put this on the Canadian Tire website but these uh, clips are really good man uh, like these let me get the other one oh, I've got here. in a little bit of action and they're not too bad but these feel uh, nice and do feel good and you really want something to grip onto onto the terminal. So that's what I'm planning on doing. I'm going to just zip through a few bits and pieces and show you bit by bit. And that's what I'm going to do. So that's the next plan of attack. So I've chopped the uh, the cables off and these uh, look pretty good. Okay, so I've uh, cut these down and uh, they're pretty good. Um, the reason I don't want to use ring terminals is because I've got to order them. I haven't got the right size and also you've got like a little hole in them um, and I really want full coverage so that's going to be good and if I go here nicely oops that goes in nicely so what I'm going to do is I also want to put some uh, shrink shrink wrap on it I think I've got some shrink wrap so uh, let me have a look at that, see if I've got some shrink wrap. So I, uh, sorry, I uh, I did that, soldered it. it soldering isn't fantastic, it's a little bit cack handed, but my soldering iron isn't really up to 25, 40 watts isn't really good for this and it's kind of doing the, doing the insulation a little bit. But it's okay, I just want it to keep something in like that. So, I mean, it does do the trick. Let's just get it out a bit, oops. Now, if we go on on here, you see it is a nice little fit. And if I tighten this up, booyah, does the trick. Oops, let's get you in a bit. It does the, it does the trick. So I'm gonna do the other one as well. Um, I, have, I thought I had some heat shrink. I wanna put some heat shrink 
over this, but just temporarily until I get some heat shrink. I've got some uh, insulation tape. I'm going to wrap it around there. Actually, color code it black and red because it's blue and black or whatever. So let me do the other one. I'll show you. Okay, so there we go. That's uh, that's nice. As again, I've got to put some heat shrink around there. Um, but then what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a little bit of uh, tape on there just uh, to be on the safe side. So this is what I want to do. Um, now I've done this, I want to check the voltage on here and I'm going to tell you why. What I'm going to do is I'm going to check the voltage here, set the voltage here, whatever we're going to set it to. It's going to 13 point something or whatever it is. Then I'm going to check the voltage on the cables. I want to see if there's a voltage drop between here and this okay. I want to see if there's a voltage drop between here and the, the terminals. So let's plug this in and see what happens. So powered on. Okay, let's check check the voltage. So negative positive. 13.07 volts okay that is okay and uh, I'm going to take this off and now I'm going let's go and have a look at one end on the other side thirteen point oh eight so there is no noticeable voltage drop so let's disconnect it and I'm going to put a double sided on here and so this is going to be like my little unit and I guess I could put that on there it's a little bit Fred Flintstone don't you think I don't know I wanted to have something then maybe I can just tie this up and do it I don't know but anyway the cable works so what I'm going to do next and probably won't see this on this on this show uh, this I'm going to probably post this up let me just switch this off I'm going to put some heat shrink on these okay just to keep these nice uh, put some uh, that's it that's what I need to do now the next stage I have to do and it's way too cold in Canada at the moment it's minus 12 I'm not going out and jerking around on the car minus 12 I'm telling you so what I want to do is when the temperature gets a bit warmer I'm going to go out and test it on the car and see if it keeps the 13.07 volts and I don't think there's any reason why and what I might do is put the lights on uh, not, not going to start it because that's going to definitely pull more than voltage than it needs but maybe I might put some lights on or I don't know I have to have a word with a couple of the guys to see what they think but so far so good and then once I've got that tested then I can do some coding so um, I'm going to wrap this up this baby up because these bits and pieces I'm not going to get for the next couple of days and I really want to post this and uh, I also want to get cracking on with other things so Maybe in uh, maybe a month, three or four weeks time, when the weather gets a bit warmer, we'll test drive this and I'll show you where we are with this. So, yours truly, the big Jared and Jace, peace out, Unity. I'm out of here like a tea for tonight. If you did like this video, please like this, smash that like button, smash it into orbit. And um, if uh, and if you like it, tell other people. If you don't like it, tell other people and subscribe as always. So, take it easy. Bye for now.